Another mild week of weather ahead with outbreaks of rain. It remains unsettled with more wet and windy weather in the forecast. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Monday, 20 Maybe you just thought he was having a summer holiday because around about 80 miles away in Kinloch U, yes, ever recorded in January. Not just the highest temperature in Scotland, but the highest temperature in the UK. And it was a whopping 19.6 degrees in Celsius. So 19.6 was about 1.3 degrees above the previous record. So it smashed the previous record. But why did it happen? It's down to this thing called the fern effect. And it's basically how air, one side of a mountain is warmer than the other. So... Air comes towards a mountain. It can't go around it because it's so big, so it's forced to rise quickly. And in doing so, it warms, rap it cools rapidly, it condenses rapidly, it makes cloud. At the top of the mountain, you get rain, and then once it's rained, it has extra energy, and then it warms quickly. And it comes down the other side, it's cloud-free, plenty more sunshine, and that makes it warm further. So you can have a difference in temperature of about 20 degrees from one side to the other. So some people are asking, is this record temperature to do with climate change? One day without a study, it's hard to say. But seven of our 12 months have seen record temperatures in the last 20 years for warm, and it's 28 years you have to go back to have a record cold. So yes, Kinlochy in Scotland, 19.6. This is higher than the average summer temperature, record-breaking yesterday because of the fern effect. And another thing you'll be looking out for over the next few days is sand from the Sahara because it is set to move its way towards the UK. The satellite image pips out. You can make it out, out just here. Lots and lots of sand from the Sahara in the satellite picture and it is all heading its way towards the UK. Sunshine for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but England and Wales to the south and east, fairly cloudy, but yet again it is mild. So what wins out as we head through the next seven days? So let's take a look at our seven day outlook where our weekend is in view and we start across the north of the UK first of all. So it's Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England pretty much leads north of us is where this area represents. This is our average temperature a little below it for the next few days but way above average as we head through the rest of the working week. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK. Well, hit and miss for today. There's that band of rain through northern England, southern Scotland, drier for tomorrow, but the end of the week into the weekend, it looks set to turn wetter. Fortunes further south of England and Wales for the next seven days. Well, temperature-wise, we still remain way above average all week long, avoiding those nighttime frosts with largely cloudy skies. Percentage chance of rainfall, well, it will be largely dry through southern areas, but it will also be very cloudy and later on into the weekend, thick enough for some outbreaks of rain and drizzle. For the Good morning to you. The weather stays unsettled as we had through this week. Not a washout, not a storm as it was last week, but we have got warnings in force for today and tomorrow for a band of rain sitting through northern areas of England. And then later on this week, as another low pressure moves in, the isobars squeeze, the winds pick up, so warnings in force for them. But actually... Good morning to you. You may well have heard about a record temperature this weekend in Scotland. Kinloch Hugh got to 19.6 degrees Celsius. Let's remind ourselves, it is January. That is Highland Scotland. That is higher than their average temperature for peak in the summer. Why did this happen? Why did we smash our previous record by over a degree? Good morning to you. The weather is divided for today. We have a band of rain for central areas and either side it is fine and dry. But here's how it looks this morning. Satellite and radar picks up this band of rain for southern Scotland, northern England and north Wales where it stays all day long today and into tomorrow with a weather warning in force because of how much rain there's set to be. So grey dull, damp, miserable for these areas. To the north of it, Scotland and Northern Ireland, bright but much cooler than the record-breaking 19.6 we had yesterday. Cloudy and mud in the south, top temperatures 14 degrees.